All right, you guys been waiting for this AI core technology first in a hybrid now AI core technology in a pearl. We got the brand new Summit Peak. This is this is going to be great. Check it out. Hey guys, welcome back to Sajiri's Ball Reviews. Today, before we get started, be sure to hit that like and subscribe button because at 5,000 subscribers, we are going to be giving out a bowling ball of choice. Um, I believe we're close to 3,000, so hopefully after these videos post, at the at, by the end of this year, we'll hit that 3K mark and we'll be on to that 5,000 subscriber mark. Hey guys, welcome back to the Jerry's Ball Reviews. Today we got the Summit Peak. These colors look phenomenal. Uh, it kind of reminds me of like the original Virtual Energy, but it's not a Virtual Energy. Um, it's actually a solid symmetrical using the Centripetal HD Core, and it also uses the brand new AI technology that was used in the original Summit. So this uses the same cover stock, the TX23, but it's a pearl version instead of a hybrid version, which was on a Summit. So you're gonna see something a little bit different. Um, it's gonna be a little bit longer, cleaner through the fronts. Uh, it's gonna store more energy and have more pop down lane than the, than the hybrid, which was the Summit. In my bag, the Summit's gonna be a little bit weaker um, than the Summit. I'd probably say on the hook scale, um, between one to 10, it's probably gonna be like around an eight. Um, it has a good amount of back end. It's a symmetrical ball, so it's gonna wanna store up energy and not be so hockey stick-like like an ASIM would, uh, comparing to like the Virtual Energy Blackout, which we'll take a look at a little bit later. All right, and now let's get into the comparisons. Uh, first, let's compare it to the original Summit. What I saw in the original Summit compared to the Summit Peak, the original Summit, um, red earlier just because of the surface and also it being a hybrid, uh, the layouts were very similar, so that wasn't a factor. And I just saw the Summit be a little bit more forward. Um, the Summit Peak retained a little bit more energy, was easier to get to that spot, and and they both hit really well. Um, the AI technology, as you can see, um, in certain shots, it was carrying a lot more than normal. I mean, I, I was tripping four pins, and uh, it's, it's just a different motion going through the pins. The Zen Go label is gonna be cleaner um, and more angular than the Summit Peak. Um, it's using a cleaner cover. Um, the core numbers are a little bit higher. The RG is a little bit higher. Uh, differentials are, are pretty, pretty close. Um, but the Zen Go label is gonna give you that length and more pop off of the breakpoint. Now let's compare it to the Sublime. The Sublime is a hybrid version that's shiny but it also uses AI technology and it's uh, from the 900 Global brand. So it's a different core than the Summit Peak. Um, they're, they're fairly similar as far as hook wise. So I wouldn't recommend having both in your bag, probably just one or the other. Or if you have two, I would put a different layout on one and probably change the surface adjustments on them so you can get a different shape. But I feel like those two balls are very, very similar, very close.
All right, now let's compare it to the Virtual Energy Blackout. Uh, the Virtual Energy Blackout compared to the Summit Peak, it's, it's gonna have that really long pop booming right off the back end. Uh, Cause it's an ASIM, it, it really wants a hockey stick off of the end of the pattern um, and, and just wants to just drive. The, the Summit Peak takes a little bit longer since it's symmetrical and it's kind of just gonna be more rounded, more continuous. So it just kind of depends on what, what shape you're looking for when you're playing on the lane. Um, either the Summit Peak or the Virtual Energy Blackout. I'm gonna keep both in my bag uh, just because they're two different types of shapes.